Welcome back. I'm Leo Tavik, owner and operator of the Golf Performance Academy. After our last discussions about impact and leading shafts at impact, we're going to talk about how do I take that on the golf course. The golf course isn't flat. The golf course has various lies, uphill, downhill, and side hill. We're going to cover those today. Let's start out with the uphill lie. The uphill lie is being right-handed players is when the right shoulder is much lower than the left and or parallel to the hill. So we always want to be sure that our shoulders are parallel to the ground when we're setting up to the golf ball. Some of the properties of an uphill lie is that the ball flies higher and tends to travel right to left, again for the right-handed player. Due to the fact that the ball launches higher in the air, we use a lower lofted club. So I have a six iron and I have a three hybrid in my hand and I have 170 yards, 80 yards to the green. That would be my six iron, but I have the uphill lie. I need a little extra length in the club and less angle, so I would hit my hybrid. And I would set up to the golf ball in a similar fashion to every shot. This would be my six iron. This is my hybrid. The alignment for the uphill lie, the ball position is forward in the stance. Shoulders are parallel to the hill for the uphill lie. Seeing the same routine that you do for all of your swings. This ball will travel right to left. And you make your swing swinging on the contour of the land. Notice. So keep in mind, uphill lies, longer club for the same distance you would have hit a shorter club from a level lie. Ball placed forward in the stance, shoulders are parallel to the hill, and swing the club following the contour of the land. Enjoy the game.